It's barely 24 hours to the governorship and state assembly elections in Nigeria. While the Independent National Electoral Commission appears set for the exercise, civil society groups in Abuja are dissatisfied with unfolding events leading to the polls. That colonial tax regime. At this news conference in Abuja, members of the Center for Transparency and Advocacy are raising serious concerns about the heavy deployment of soldiers to states for elections, just as they condemn renewed attacks on INEC facilities in some states, including Akwaibom. Uh, Akwaibom state, in the last election, even uh, just before we came into this press conference, we had uh, information that uh, one, in one of the local government areas, INEC office uh, was on fire. So this is not acceptable for a civil process, for a democratic process, an election in a country like Nigeria. And we're also aware that armed soldiers who ought to be performing strategic military roles, you know, in the northeast, i.e. Sambisa, are now performing election duties in a subnational state. What we we'll have at the end of the day is an election that is militarized, that will impose fear in the voter populace, and of course create what we expressed here last week, voter apathy. Of the youth candidates also. In a similar vein, Yaga Africa decries the spate of violence in the states, saying that it could negatively affect the chances of young people who were seeking elective offices. Tomorrow we'll be having about 69% of uh, the youth candidates running for state houses of assembly elections. And so we believe that insecurity and violence will uh, affect the chances of the youth candidates. But then we what do we do? It is up to the security forces and agencies, you know, to try to tame the tide of uh, political violence in the country. Some states, including Akwaibom, Delta, Bayelsa, Rivers, and Kwara states, are amongst states identified as flashpoints in the Saturday's governorship and state assembly elections due to the strong political interests that the two leading parties, the APC and the PDP, have in the those states.